Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And we do not have any boxes to compare these figures with. But I do have these non-transforming figures. Yeah. We got Bumblebee. Which is part of a blind bag series. I don't have a lot of these. But I do own Shrapnel in the same size. So here's Bumblebee. Here's Shrapnel. Yeah, I love these things. They're like blocky transformers and they're just so much fun articulation no knees but you do get some rotation there at the uh chest region hands can move not very much head cannot move on this one arms can move on this one and uh, not much head movement on this one either arm movement Leg movement, why not? The only one that doesn't have leg movement is Bumblebee. So yeah, they're pretty simple. Since they don't transform, but they're based on Generation 1, Bumblebee and Shrapnel. Why not? There I say why not, they're a lot of fun. That's all there's to say for these two, I don't have any other comparisons. To go next to Bumblebee. But now we're going to look at some Mickey D style toys. We got some Transformers Prime Mickey D's Transformers. Here we got Bumblebee. Yep. He's based on his Transformers Prime design, and that looks pretty cool. I don't have an actual Prime Big Bumblebee on my shelf, but this figure is pretty cool. And we got Beast Hunters Optimus Prime. Autobots transform and roll out. He does have some rotation there. No head joint, no elbows, no knees. That's all there is to say for these fast food toys. They don't have a lot of articulation. But now, for some comparisons. Here we got the Blind Bag Series Bumblebee with Shrapnel. So you can see there in the size category with these toys and that's all there is to say for this review i think these figures are fun to get my hands on shame they don't transform but otherwise some good looking figures i like bumblebee you know i can never get enough bumblebee optimus prime or decepticons but that's all there is to say for this video if you like this video as much as i enjoyed making it these figures are a lot of fun, as I enjoyed making this video with these figures. A lot of fun to mess around with. Some neat looking figures. Really well sculpted. Really well painted. I love them. And I love this review and career. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.